shall we? Finally here today. Time flies. Seems like only yesterday that I brought you to my family Easter for the first time. At the time, I was concerned you would not be coming to another one after all the shenanigans that occurred that day. But you surprised me. You enjoyed yourself, and you fell in love with my family. I knew you were special. You sat and talked with my grandfather, and he liked you. And if you could pass that test, I knew you could pass any test. Now here we are. So many hills, twists, turns in our lives, in our relationship that we've navigated together. But I believe that's partly what makes us so special. You and I have already experienced so much in such a little time. So many lows as well as highs. They say through better or worse, and here we are, saying it again. But we've been through better, and we've been through worse. We've been through sickness, we've been through health. health. We've never been stronger. In fact, I believe it's all the times we've been knocked out that makes us stronger. See, you've been with me through so many obstacles in my life, as well as joyous moments. And you've been my rock through it all. You've seen me defeated. You've seen me cry. You've seen me sick. You've seen me poor. And you never ran. You said, this is the man I love, and I'm standing by his side. You built me up. You were also there for such excitement. You stood by me at my graduation from college, both academies, new job adventures, vacations, some of the funniest moments of our lives. You made so many new dear friends with me, and you've accepted my old ones as your own. And of course, you were right by my side the day I got the phone call, accomplishing my lifelong dream and changing our lives forever, the day I finally got a job as a police officer. I genuinely feel that you were a second part of me. You hurt when I hurt, celebrate when I celebrate, and you can reference every line from every American Dad episode just like I can. I know that the hard times are not over, but neither are the great. And that's what excites me, the unknown. I look forward to growing with you, growing with your family and friends, and you mine. I look forward to learning more about you, Shelby, because learning is never over, even after being together for five years. I look forward to making you smile, laugh, proud, grow, as well as annoying you by continuing to fart in bed, come home with smelly feet, leave toothpaste in the sink, and leave just one dish uncleaned in the kitchen sink. Because that's what marriage is. It isn't perfect, and I know that. It's about the adventure of life and experiencing it together. I look forward to becoming a homeowner with you, buying cars with you, raising a family with you, growing old with you. I'm excited for what's to come, and I pledge to be your rock through it all. I'm glad you chose me, and I'm glad to be expressing our love here today. I hold true to my vows today, and I always will. I'm excited to see where life takes us, shall we? And know wherever it is, whatever it is, as long as I have you by my side, we can take on anything. I need to hear mine. Cool. Should I make this? No, I just need... I remember telling my mom I don't think I will ever get married, and she used to get so mad at me. She used to tell me I will someday get married when someone special comes into my life. I never understood how someone could love me for everything that I am, someone who could make me their whole life, make me their priority, call me down when I'm mad, which is a lot, hug me when I'm sad, and wipe away my tears when I needed it most. I never understood how someone could make me feel like the prettiest girl in the world, and then I met you. You go every day telling me how beautiful I am and how much you love me. You go every day showing me how proud you are, and when we go out, you show me off. And I never knew what happiness was until I started loving you. I believe in you. I always have and I always will. I believe in the person you will continue to be, and I believe in the couple we will continue to grow to be. With my whole heart, I take you, Tyler, as my husband, my soulmate, the father of my unborn children, the person I will spend the rest of my life loving, but most importantly, my best friend. The day my heart found yours, I knew our love was different. You made me laugh until I was crying, even while we were fighting. You made me want to go to the grocery store because that just meant tickle wars and lots of awkward stares from strangers. But most importantly, you made me believe I was beautiful and loved. You have made me confident, outspoken, and feel important. You solely made me who I am today. As much as you might not like me at times, I will forever love you.
I will forever push you to I will forever push you to your limits until you succeed, just like you have done for me. From this day forward, I promise you I will try to understand you, acknowledge and accept your faults, as I hope you do mine. I promise to be faithful and supportive in everything you do, and I promise to make you and our family we build together my priority. I know I am truly lucky to be standing here marrying the man of my dreams, and I will continue loving you until my very last breath. You are my everything, Tyler, and part of me can't believe you're officially mine, and after today it's our lives together. You may not be perfect with your toothpaste in the sink and all the farting that you do, but I can live past that for the rest of my life because I love how perfectly imperfect you are, and without you, I would never be whole again.